Well, hello and welcome back for another video on this YouTube. I am excited to share with you guys a recipe from our cookbook. I've been wanting to share more cooking videos and figured it was a great opportunity to make something yum. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to call it, but I'm going to be whipping up a triple berry raw vegan pie and I'm going to use all kinds of delish vegan ingredients including like nuts and berries and just all good things. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, have fun. Do you have things in your bag? Yeah. Mmm. It looks like you've been very busy. Mm. Nice. Blue. It's a puzzle piece. It is blue. Hopefully sweet Azalea will be able to help me in our endeavor. So before I get to rambling, let's get to cooking. I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me our sweet nugget, Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we've finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. To make this delicious pie, the ingredients that you'll be needing consist of half a cup of flax meal, half a cup of Brazil nuts, one and a half cups of mulberries that you can have soaking while you prep your ingredients, a quarter cup of coconut oil that will need to be melted, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, an optional additional ingredient, two tablespoons of cacao powder. For your filling, you're gonna need about two cups of raw cashews that you will soak overnight, half a cup of blueberries, a half a cup of raspberries, and a half a cup of blackberries, two lemons, about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, about half a cup of coconut oil that you'll need to melt, four tablespoons of water, and a tablespoon of raw honey, preferably from your local beekeeper. For your toppings and your garnish, your blackberries, blueberries, you can add some coconut flakes, some pomegranate, as well as the raspberries, and a touch of mint. You're gonna need to use a high-speed blender, a lemon zester, a knife to cut your lemon, measuring spoons, measuring cups, a lemon squeezer or juicer is optional, and then a bottomless cake tin pan, one that comes on and off. All right, so now that you know what ingredients and equipment you need, you are gonna enjoy making this, so let's get into it. First thing that you're gonna do is add your Brazil nuts and blend them up until they are completely ground and a fine kind of powdery-like texture similar to your flax meal. Add in your flax meal and blend the two together. Add in a pinch of salt as well as your vanilla. Then you're gonna strain your mulberries and throw them into the blender until blended together along with your melted coconut oil. Your mixture should be nice and blended together when you're ready to transfer it into your baking tin tray. Using the back of a spoon, pat down on your crust so that it's evenly distributed across the base of your pan. Once you feel good about your crust, transfer it in the freezer to get solid while you continue to make the rest of your filling. Rinse your blender so you can reuse it to make your cashew cheese. In your blender, add your cashews, water, and coconut oil and blend until super smooth. Begin zesting both of your lemons as well as squeezing the juice from both lemons. Add the lemon juice and the lemon zest into your cashew cream along with your nutritional yeast and blend until smooth. Adding also your honey. Be sure to push down any ingredients so that everything can reach the blender blades and blend properly as you need it to. If you need to add a couple splashes of water to help make everything blend better, then feel free to do that. Gradually increase the speed of the blender so that you really can grind up those cashews into a super silky smooth texture. With little to no lumps, the smoother, the creamier your cheesecake will be. So be sure to keep blending and be... Happy birthday. 
and be super patient with your blender. It might take like up to five minutes blending, something like that, but just be sure to blend it until nice and smooth. Once your cashew cheese is nice and creamy, divvy it up into three separate cups. If you wanna simplify the recipe and not have three separate colored layers and flavors, then do a cup and a half of your chosen berry and blend it in the blender without dividing the cream into three separate cups. When you blended your different berries with your cashew cream, keep them in separate cups and set them aside so you're ready to start building your cheesecake. Once you have your fillings ready to roll, get your pie crust Do out. It. Get your pie crust. Yay. Get your pie crust out from the freezer and set it Do on the it. and set it on the countertop and begin layering. Do and begin layering Do your cheesecake. Azalea, it. stop. And begin layering Do your it. and begin layering your cheesecake. And begin Do it. <laughs> and begin layering your cheesecake. Start with one berry cheese flavor. Be sure to spread your cheese layers so they're nice and flat and evenly distributed across your baking tin. And in between each layer, be sure to leave it in the freezer for about 30 to 45 minutes so that each layer has enough time to set before adding the next layer. Once you add your final layer of cheese, you put your pie back in the freezer and store it for about 30 to 45 minutes. To be extra sure that it's through and through nice and solid, I leave it in overnight. Take it out in the morning to let it de-thaw. If you need to use a knife to pry it around the edges, that's also a really great way to detach it from the baking pan. While it's de-thawing, I like to add all my garnishes, so I'll layer blueberries, blackberries, and any other type of additional garnish like the mint as well as the coconut flakes at this point it's really whatever you want be creative and see what kind of beautiful artistic flair you can give to the top of your pie if you don't think you'll be able to chow down on this entire pie don't worry you can dethaw it and put whatever you're not in the mood to eat or want to save back in the freezer until you're ready for another cheesecake kind of day I really hope that you enjoy making that recipe. I'm super excited to be working on some new creations in the kitchen and yeah, this one's yummy. If you're into cheesecake, definitely would recommend it. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more cooking videos. Hit the subscribe button if you're into this channel and hit the bell if you want notifications, all that good stuff and yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. I think we are going to challenge ourselves for the next month or two, maybe, to do a couple videos a week. So you guys are going to have a lot of fun stuff coming your way. So I'm excited to keep sharing and connecting with all of you. And other than that, yeah, hope you're all doing well. Wishing you good vibes. Um, I don't know. Happy Cheesecake Day. Enjoy it. And much love. Peace.